Good day everyone, my name is Olua Shif Mialiwa, I'm a front house club, questions left and answered. In this, um, in this series, we'll be giving you many of the things, of course, as we started in the first episode, about the life of Adam and Eve, our patriarch, and I told you that these guys um, are our foremost personalities because their lives, um, um, studying their lives, they inspire me and they give me reasons to do more. So, and it is one of the reasons why I hope that this will, it will do the same to you you can you have to subscribe you know you have to subscribe so you can get every of the contents that we release we, we asked a lot of questions in the first episode that we believe should get you to subscribe and follow up every of the things we have to discuss in this series now in this video we'll be talking about the cave of treasures now what was the cave of treasures adam and eve you know as the bible mentions that uh, in genesis chapter 3 that uh, god sent them out of the garden in the cool of the evening does not mean that um, there was night and day in the garden but of course there was night and day outside of the garden there was no house in the garden you know that and when it rains it rains in the garden so how come how um do they not feel cold or or um get scorched by sun or give you all of the contents in um, our incoming videos now well Talking about the cave of treasures, when the Lord sent them out of the garden, I mentioned that in the first video that when they came out of the garden, they fell down because it was a, the first time they, they were stepping on the ground, on the bare ground, not wearing shoes or sandals. Now, if you, what was the sound in the, the garden like? You still get all of those things. Just subscribe and follow up all of the videos. Now, the Lord did not permit them to settle um, at the north border. The garden didn't have a fence. We'll tell you the description, the full description of the garden. The Lord did not permit them to dwell um, towards the north border because he didn't want the waters flowing out of the garden to, he didn't want them to wash themselves inside so that they would not you know, forget their sorrow and feel refreshed and feel alive and still feel spiritual because you remember that he didn't want them to taste of the fruit of the garden was the main reason. He didn't want them to eat of the tree of life. That was why he sent them out of the garden. So he didn't want them to have to swim or to you know have the water to so they would not just be um uh be so that the nature of sin will not be permanent in them so that his work of rede redemption will be um made possible. So he also did not allow them to settle towards the south because when the wind blows, it will blow you know the sweet smelling saints of the trees of the delicious trees it, it, it would bring the saints towards that side and the lord didn't want them to settle there so that they will not feel consoled they will not have any consolation so that they will not just feel at least we have this because man forgets too easily man forgets that oh i i i, I misbehaved i i don't want to use the word the f word now uh uh the men forget easily they forget easily and i believe you know that people have experienced it all around men forget things easily not men forget evil days once they find little things concerning them they can easily adapt and just manage so the lord sent them towards the west um, border and uh it was it had a broad and a vast expanse of land and uh the lord instructed them to dwell in the cave we'll be telling you about uh, the communication because of course the Bible does not tell us that God communicated with Adam and Eve again but many of these things are what you will learn in these videos so God instructed them to dwell inside the cave inside the rock and why was it called the cave why was it called the cave of treasures because of the bodies of righteous men in it in um, towards the ending of this episode we'll be telling you about the, the righteous men the body of righteous men because the cave housed not just Adam and Eve, not just uh, Abel and um, Aklemia and uh, Seth and the, and the others. Of course, for a while it housed Cain. So, for the body of the righteous men, it was called the cave of treasure. And peculiarly because of the gifts that God gave to Adam and Eve, God presented Adam and Eve gifts. And if you know what are the gifts all about, I will tell you. I want you to know that the prophecy uh, pertaining to Jesus did not start existing when you have the major prophet. It started when Adam fell. You start seeing things that um, started making out for the prophecies that talks about Jesus. Jesus is coming. An example of it, you find that uh, the, the Lord killed the lamb. Scholarly speaking, the Lord 
killed a lamb that was innocent to so use the skin to cover Adam and Eve is also a typical um, uh, illustration of how the Lord Jesus, blameless as a lamb, you remember, blameless, guiltless, and he was the one killed to make up for the sins of some, to cover the nakedness and the shame of some. So the prophecy really pertaining and related to Jesus will talk about it to all of the things that happened through those times to talk about Jesus. Now, that was the cave of treasures. The cave of treasures. Adam and Eve, they lived through all of their lives because they didn't have um, um, uh, a technology. They didn't have uh, architectural wisdom or knowledge at that time. Not like they were not intelligent or brave or wise, like I mentioned in the first episode. But it was not given, that was not what was necessary. All they needed to do was just a place to stay, to sleep and wake up. There was no distraction. There was nothing else to do. There was no farming and all of this is now. We'll be talking about what they fed one and the rest. I want you to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, make sure you send it to scholarsandhancers at gmail.com or you send it to my line 0816979099 and um, make sure you have a nice time. Bye bye.